Hi students, I'm Suzanne Zimik from Segredat Higher Secondary School. Today we shall take the lesson from the additional subject that is Lesson 3, Travelers Return, written by Robert Salty. I shall be reading out the poem, the whole thing of the poem at first, then I shall explain to you. Sweet to the morning traveler, the song amid the sky. Where twinkling in the dewy light, the skylark soars on high. And cheering to the traveler, the gales that round him play. When faint and heavily he drags along his noontide way. And when beneath the unclouded sun, full wearily toils he, the flowing water makes to him a smoothing melody. And when the evening light decays, and all to come around, there is sweet music to his ear. In the distant ship bells sound, but oh, of all delightful sounds of evening or of morn, the sweetest is the voice of love that welcomes his return. Okay, now I shall tell you about the poet. Who is this Robert Saudi? He was a romantic English poet born on 12th August 1774 at Bristol in England and died on 21st of March 1843 at the age of 68. In short, I would like to summarize the poem, The, the, the Traveler's Return. In the poem, Traveler's Return, the poet describes about the beauty of nature that the traveler experiences on his way back home and the joy and the happiness that he feels but no voice of the loved one can bring greater happiness to the traveler so in short that is what it is about the poem now in the first stanza the traveler feels the sweetness of the morning air in the sky where the sky lark soars high and the beauty of the earth shining brightly with the wet dew sparkling on the grass. That is what we see in the first stanza. Then in the second stanza we see in the noon or at midday at first, the gales, that is the strong wind, it cheers and plays round with him, giving him joy and happiness. But later, as he walks further along the way, he feels weak and starts walking slowly and heavily. Then in the third stanza, as the traveler walks very tired under the hot scorching heat of the sun, he is comforted by the sweet melodious sound of the flowing water from the spring. Then in the fourth stanza we see, when evening comes, the heat of the sun becomes less strong and everything is calm and peaceful. All the more, he feels happier when he hears the sheep bell in the distance. The sheep bell in the distance, the music is so sweet to his ear because it shows that he is nearing home. Then we see in the last stanza, that is the fifth stanza, 
the most beautiful, sweetest, and the most delightful of all the sounds and the things compared of the morning, noon, or evening. It is the voice of the person whom the traveler loves and that gives him the warmest welcome when he returns home. Well, that's it. In short, I have explained to you each and every stanza and you please go through this poem and then I shall be sending you the notes. Thank you.